It is the 28th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. So you want to cause a little trouble with me, huh? This little remix button, just down below this. Go ahead and push on that, remix my videos, kick them right back out there. And let's flood YouTube with every remix video you can. And uh, we'll see what kind of trouble we can cause that way. Or we're just going to flood <coughs> YouTube with uh, truther videos. And you don't have to make them yourself as long as you have permission from the channel. And that's what the remix button's for. It allows you to remix it and send it back out there. And uh, go ahead and do that. And, and if you put my videos out a thousand times, that's just more in the face of YouTube. So we do what we can with what we have. We use their tools against them. So let's follow the rules and use our tools and become a major, major pain in the ass. So let's get started today. I'm going to go ahead and start you off on the Watchers. Well, they've got a story, EU signs ACTA Global Internet Censorship Treaty. Today, the European Union and 22 member states signed an anti-counterfeiting trade agreement, ACTA. Japan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced they have now joined the United States and seven other nations that signed the treaty last October. Um, though initiated by the United States, Japan is officially is the official depository of the treaty. And you know we can trust the Japanese government, right? Uh, let me go through this big list. They got a, a list of the countries. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Today's signatories include the EU, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. Last October, Australia, Canada, Japan, South Korea, Morocco, New Zealand, Singapore, and the United States have already signed this treaty. Though involved in the early AT, ACTA negotiations, Switzerland and Mexico have not yet ratified it. However, since the agreement remains open to signature until May 2013, it is possible that other states may make a move to join, uh, uh, join as well. So uh, I will definitely attach a link to this particular story and uh, definitely an interesting read in light of everything that's going on right now. Uh, over to Sock.net, El Hero, underwater volcano rises closer to the surface. Uh, that's right, uh, this eruption has been ongoing. An underwater volcano which has been bubbling away off the coast of El, El Hero since the summer is rising closer and closer to the sur surface, according to geologists. Uh, and, of course, we've all been keeping an eye on this. January, seeing above-average tornado action... Uh, <clears throat> the number, the numbers hold up. This month could be the third busiest January since tornado record keep, excuse me, record keeping began in 1950. Uh, so far this month, weather watchers have filed 70 tornado reports to the nation's storm prediction center. And, uh, yeah, and we're just getting started. And remember, 2011 was a record year, and we're already starting to break more records, huh? Snow buries parts of eastern central Europe. Budapest, Romania, parts of eastern and central Europe were hit hard by heavy snow and frigid temperatures for a second day Thursday, leaving hundreds trapped in cars, dozens of communities without power, and at least one person dead. Some areas saw as much as 10 feet of snow. Uh, birds invade U.S. town. LaGrange, Kentucky, swarmed by blackbirds. I watched the video on this, and uh, last year they were doing the same same place. I believe, uh, wasn't it U.S. Pimp Club that put out, what's with all the birds? Uh, so this is an ongoing flocking situation with these blackbirds, and uh, they just happened to decide to roost here in LaGrange, Kentucky, and uh, they're not very happy about it. Uh, they got another story, blizzards hit Eastern Europe hard. And California, no damage preliminary, 3.4 quake hits near Simona. Uh, yeah, rattled some people. And that 
that's about all new they have tonight I want to cover. Over to the Extinction Protocol, the Sun Unleashes Strong X2 Solar Flare and CME. Uh, thankfully it's not Earth Directed. Uh, they're still up in the air weathering. We might get a little glancing blow or not, but we are not going to get the full brunt of this one. Uh, definitely interesting to watch and I look forward to uh, Solar Watchers and, and all the Solar Guys channels. Uh, Doc, everybody. Twin Threat. Cyclone and brush fires threaten Western Australia. A tropical cyclone and a major brush fire po are posing a twin threat to travelers in Western Australia's Central West. Uh, authorities are concerned about holidaymakers from Perth and elsewhere may find themselves stranded. Now that's definitely a severe situation. Cyclone Iggy could cut off the highway to Perth. Uh, but now, <clears throat> bushfires have forced the closures of the highway south of uh, Carnarvon and Santornini comes under close observation after Crete rattled by second 5.2 earthquake. Uh, Crete has been hit with the second 5.2 earthquake in 24 hours after a series of strong earthquakes on the 26th of January. The Gr Greeks begin to take seismic developments sound around and and under <coughs> Santorini, today they they have been several earthquakes uh, southwest and uh, the fault line. Da -da -da -da. They're saying that the the status of the Ni K A M E N I volcano still remains at yellow, but we have to expect something. The team of Volco Discovery have already prepared for a possible volcanic activity. So it uh, could be we've got another major volcano gearing up. Increased activity at Ecuador's Sangay Volcano. Now, since Monday the 23rd of January there has been an intensification of uh, volcano's activity as indicated by reports from pilots who reported the, pressure, the presence of ash from the volcano drifting south-southeast. Uh, Mexico's turbulent uh, volcano erupts again. The 5,400 meter high volcano has erupted again with a plume of ash after shaking for several minutes early on Thursday. Uh, they reported the cloud drifted west before turning back east towards Puebla City. Uh, lying 37 miles south southeast of Mexico City and 18 million inhabitants, it remains to be seen how ash cloud will affect the megatropolis. And that's the big volcano that oversits just down the street from Mexico City, one of the densely densest populated cities on the planet. Costa Rica's uh, got a volcano unleashes 15,000 foot ash cloud. Turalba, T-U-R-R-I-A-L-B-A, um, volcano pronounced a burst of activity that shot water, vapor, and ash more than 15,000 feet in the air. Uh, residents report that ash blasts showered several communities. Last produced an eruption in 1866. So uh, definitely it's been uh, rumbling since January, uh, early January 2000. Yeah, 2001, and then 2010 it spewed ash with such a force that two nearby villages were evacuated briefly. A newly discovered asteroid to make surprisingly close zip past Earth. This has already been done. Um, and that just goes to show with our advanced tracking systems, uh, we are finding these things all of the time. And that's about all new they have tonight. Uh, really nothing new going on on RSOE or nothing like that, so I'm going to go straight to the nuclear stuff. <sighs> Ridiculous. A growing picture of chaos. Japanese government claims more committees kept no records on Fukushima crisis. This is criminal, criminal, criminal. Fukushima webcam shows spots, static, similar to phenomenon seen inside reactor number. Two, possible hail, snow, signal noise, and they have a video to, on that. You can judge for yourself. Telegraph, an accident at China nuclear reactor, says Japan government. Alarm over prospect of radiation leak. Uses highly enriched uranium. Cover-up denied. 
New York Times headline <clears throat> is spent f nuclear fuel really waste? Oh no, it's good for you, remember? Jesus. CNN on Fukushima zone. Starving cow kicks away her calf trying to nurse. Newborn crawled into corner, crying and suckled on straw as if it were its mother's teat. And uh, we've seen the videos, or I've seen the videos, some very, very, very sad things going on. Uh, with the livestock and the pets and everything uh, that is in the exclusion zone. Fukushima farmer, I am full of rage. I refuse to leave and let go of this anger and grief. People in Tokyo don't know what's really happening here. I, can, I am completely contaminated. And they have a video on that. And that's a farmer who's trying to save some of these animals and he's just dealing with it the way they can. Uh, the proud fashion that the Japanese have to a fault, I might point out. You need to stand up, people. You need to stand up because uh, they're dishing out your pain equally. Uh, journal Unprecedented Phenomenon from Rising Salt Water in Fukushima Reactors. Unprecedented Phenomenon from Using Salt Water in Fukushima Reactors. Forming new Uranium compounds able to travel long distances more. They're saying uh, some uncalculated new compounds have been developed because they dumped all these millions of gallons of salt water onto these three melting down reactors. Um, and that explains the aerosol plutonium uh, that's been detected all around the the globe and uh, could this be the cause of the radioactivity that we've been discovering in the rain and testing um, if I still have my Geiger counter um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah that's about all new they have tonight um, I want to thank everybody for your support and again if you want to cause a little trouble with me go ahead and click that remix button and if you see a video you like with the remix button Go ahead and click on that too, and uh, let's just flood YouTube uh, with uh, different truther videos from everybody. So uh, enjoy while you can, everybody. Have fun. Stay safe. I'll see you later.